And all right, we're back with Coach Fraser. We'll start off with his general thoughts on the game tonight, then go to questions. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think Atlanta's a really, really good team with a lot of very good players. Um, and I was really proud of how hard our team worked and how well we worked collectively. Um, you know, throughout the game, we had quite a few decent chances uh, and felt like we were pretty defensively solid most of the night. And it's it's rewarding when the team puts in an effort like that and uh, to get that result. <clears throat> Will Connor Cape, Alta Sports Radio. Robin, since Gonzalo Pineda was hired, Atlanta United coming into today had the most points in MLS since that point. And they dominated possession last year in MLS. They were the highest possession team in the league. What's the attitude or mentality of your guys have to be when you know a good team is coming to town and you know that they're going to want to possess the ball and then if you create and finish chances, that's the way you're going to score. What's, what's the attitude of your team have to be then? If they want to score, they have to get the ball back, take it away from them, and then score on transition and counters. Yeah, I think... Um... As I said, we had a great deal of respect. We have a great deal of respect for Atlanta as they were coming in. <clears throat> and we knew that we had to work well and cohesively and collectively defensively to make things difficult for them. And I thought our guys did that. I thought we, we worked extremely hard in our individual battles. And I thought collectively uh, we did well. And you have to be able to stop teams that are good attacking teams. And... As a result, we won balls in some good areas, which helped set up some of our attacks. Uh, but, but I can't stress enough how, how well we worked collectively. And if we do that, then we're very difficult to play against. Go, well, Brendan Plowen, Denver Post. Hey, Robin. Hello. Um, I'm just curious, um, last week you said one of the areas that had to be better was the recognition of where specifically to attack. Tonight you had uh, Jonathan Lewis ran behind the lines and broke them, um, and the third goal looked similar to that. Um, what did you notice that was kind of different about the movement from the front tonight? I just think <clears throat> um, as we, the more we play, the more we get comfortable with spaces that are available for us, and it's not just the runs, but it's the recognition of the players on the ball to put them into those spots. And I thought today uh, we did a good job of recognizing where we could hurt them, and not just the players running, but the players delivering the passes to them. And then once we got the ball into those areas, uh, the decision-making in the final third uh, was one of the things we talked about last week, and I thought tonight... It was really quite good for the most part. And uh, when we do that well, then we, we create real goal scoring opportunities. Go, Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Hi, Robin, thanks for the time. Uh, do you have Thank an you. on Danny Wilson, who was substituted out at half? Thank you. Yeah, he, <clears throat> he felt something in his hamstring. We weren't really sure how bad it was, uh, but we didn't want to put him back in to go. 10 minutes to see how it is for fear of if it was bad then to really make it worse so we just decided to make the change at the time um you know one of the things that i love about this team and i've said this so so many times is that we have so many guys who are really really good players and they're all ready to play and when somebody's out somebody else comes in and we just keep moving on um and this was just another example of that. So really, really proud of how we handled that. Uh, hopefully Danny's injury is not a serious one, and we'll just find out more about that over the next couple of days. Turn to Vinny Benedetto to the Denver Gazette. Hey, Robin, thanks for the time. It was a really productive night um, from, from Diego. What, what stands out about his performance? Uh, a number of things. And... Uh, the first one is his diligence to his defending and his willingness to get into spots to help us win balls back. Uh, I thought it was really good. Uh, and then I think about some of his 
decisions around the field, holding the ball for us, being able to under pressure get us off one side, get it, get into the other side. Uh, it was a very, very mature performance from Diego. And then finally is stuff in front of the goal. The header, fantastic goal. And the ball into Johnny for the assist. The second goal was absolutely fantastic as well. Um, you know, Diego's one of the <clears throat> one of the experienced players on this team that we lean on for leadership. And I thought tonight in his play and his work rate and his determination that uh, he did a fantastic job of leading from the front. Well, Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hey, Robin, thanks. Uh, you look nice and relaxed tonight. I, that was good. <laughs> I, do, I feel a little more relaxed, yes. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Um, you kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, but I like the way the guys transitioned from, you know, really pushing to create chances, but also coming back and defending as a group. Um, I asked Johnny about that earlier. Can you, you know, was that a focus this week or, you know, how happy were you to see and that kind of play out? Thank you. I was extremely happy to see that because to win in this league, the league just gets better and better. To win in this league, you have to be good on the attacking end and collectively you have to be good on the defending end. Uh, you can't have players take plays off. And I felt like the work rate from the entire group was really good. Uh, the dedication of the front group to get back and, and give us density was um, necessary. I was going to say it was great, admirable, all of those things, but it's necessary. And when we do that, we become more difficult to play against. And uh, the front guys understood that and understand that. And tonight I, I thought it was a really good effort by the front three, um, really the front half of the field to get back and to make things difficult, uh, which when we do that, we make it simpler for the guys in the back. <clears throat> Back to Matt. Robin, I want to go back to the change at halftime with Danny coming off. We've seen Keegan at times play out wide, at times play in a back three, three center backs to the right center back. Your thoughts on his performance with that change at halftime and in general how he's made that a second option for you as a player? Yeah, Keegan is one of the steadiest players that I know. And <clears throat> if he's asked to play as an outside midfielder, Wing back, he does it well, works hard, uh, gets into good spots for us offensively, works hard defensively. If he's asked to play as a fullback in a back four, ditto, everything I just said. And then when he's asked to play in the back, he's solid, and he's a good passer out of the back um, and a very conscientious defender. So it's nice to have the versatility uh, – of a player like Keegan, and certainly there are a couple other players whose versatility has served us really well over time. So you have to have some guys that can play in a number of different positions and do them well. And I thought Keegan tonight stepped in, and Beta stepped in uh, very quickly. And uh, both guys showed their experience and, and their ability to adapt. And um, it's an important part of this team is that willingness to be unselfish and just play the role that's asked of you on the day.